As far as the Ogun State government is concerned, the state is the hub of industry in the country, and Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, standing in for a principal, the Governor, Ibikunle Amosun, reads out the scorecard. Today, I make bold to state that not less than 140 factories and industries were planted in the state within the last seven years. These industries were now operating in full swing, while a chunk of new industries are also in the pipeline. For example, in the manufacturing sector, Adia State has continued to live up to its billing as the investment destination of choice. For the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbacho, Beloxi's effort is commendable in many respects. He then restates the federal government's commitment to supporting industries and the achievements made so far in this regard. This year, we're working on a number of key reform initiatives, including the deployment of our national trading platform. The national trading platform is a single window platform for, for bringing in goods, for importing and exporting goods. And we're going to have the deployment of scanners under that same scheme, and these scanners, of course, will prevent the situation where at the moment we physically examine goods at the ports by way of examination. The scanners, of course, will be able to look at all of these goods without necessarily opening up containers and the sorts of things that we have at the moment. And also a ports community system that will promote transparency and efficiency in our ports. Last Monday, February 5th, Mr. President signed the Executive Order 005 a decisive step in the promotion of indigenous businesses, talent and professionals, especially in science, engineering and technology. The order, this order, that is Order 005, mandates all procuring authorities, that is all public procuring authorities, to give priority to Nigerian companies and firms in the award of contracts. The order also directs all ministries and agencies of government to engage Nigerian professionals in the planning, design, and execution of national security projects and important national projects. The order also specifically prohibits the Ministry of Interior from granting work permits to foreign workers whose skills are readily available in Nigeria. Where expertise is lacking, Procuring entities are required to give preference to foreign companies and firms with a demonstrable and verifiable plan for indigenous development prior to the award of such contracts. Furthermore, we are once again collaborating with the National Assembly and supporting the passage of their priority business climate reform bills while partnering to deliver what we've described as an omnibus bill. And this omnibus bill will address the various irritants and the various obstacles within extant laws that need to be amended for the purpose of achieving an enabling business environment. From a broader perspective, just two days ago, we launched our policy laboratories. Now, the policy laboratories in a, is an intervention to accelerate the implementation of our economic recovery and growth plan. The laboratory is, is a euphemism that describes a, a relationship between the public and private sector and other stakeholders coming together in a room and looking at how it is that they can plan together, look at obstacles together, and resolve problems in investments in specific areas. Some of the specific areas that we intend to look at in our laboratories uh, will be uh, the areas of gas and uh, of, of oil and gas. We're also going to be looking at manufacturing and processing and agriculture and transport. The goal of these labs is to generate $24 billion worth of investments, 80% of which is expected from the private sector with 15 million jobs and projecting 3.5% GDP growth this year and 7% by 2020. So we look forward to collaborating with Biloxi Industries across these platforms to achieve our national objectives of economic growth and job creation. After all is said, there is still more to be done.
The executive director, large enterprises at the Bank of Industry, highlights the bank's efforts while also taking the opportunity to call on other businesses in the food processing sector to partner with BOI. For you to be able to export any product made in Nigeria to America, it tells you a lot about the quality that this company has been able to achieve. And we are there to support them all the way. And we are calling on Nigerians who are into food processing, making one kind of food or the other. Please come to Bank of Industry. We are there, we are here to be able to back you up. You know, at the last count, we have provided funding over 47 billion naira to, for, to fund operation, companies who are into food processing. And there's still room to do more. We are calling on genuine manufacturers who are into food processing to come to Bank of Industry. Don't forget that our interest rate is pretty low, averaging 10%. Don't forget we can actually give tenors as long as even seven years. And if your cash flow can only be supported by 10 years, we are willing to give you credit facilities up to 10 years. So genuine manufacturers who are into food, because our population is increasing, we need to produce more. We need to feed more Nigerians. And the more they are produced locally, the happier they will be because the GDP of the country will grow, more people will be employed locally, there will be more local value addition, there will be savings in foreign exchange, and the Naira will become even stronger than it is today. So that's why I, we are very happy in Bank of Industry to always partner with a company that like Biloxi. But it's not limited to Biloxi, like I said. We are willing to support everyone who is serious, genuine, and who wants to produce or manufacture or process any form of food that will help to feed the teeming population of Nigerians. The third phase of Biloxi's expansion project began on the 15th of November 2017. The project contracted to Sanar Global Project Limited is expected to be delivered by the 30th of October 2018.